I'm going to show you just a really cheap and simple little doohickey, I don't even know what to call this thing, <laughs> thing that I use when I'm painting and using uh, multiple paint brushes and multiple colors. Really cheap and it's pretty handy. This is just a plastic bowl. It's a Rubbermaid bowl. I've lost the lid to it and I think I had like cooked some pasta sauce or something in it so it's a little discolored and it's got like some little scorch marks here and there. So instead of wanting to throw it away, I'm going to make another paintbrush holder. And to do that, I'm just going to take the bowl and a piece of pool noodle. No, I cannot tell you how long to cut the pool noodle because I don't know what size bowl you're going to be using for this. The square bowls I've found work a lot better than round bowls because the round ones, unless you're using a really, really big bowl, your pool noodle is going to buckle and it's not really going to stay on as well. But with your square bowl, you just want to take your noodle here and hold it kind of like on one edge and then cut it on this side so that it's the equal length of one side of the bowl and I'm gonna I'm gonna say about right there I have this really sharp knife here that's excellent for cutting foam cut it just like that okay now that you have your little piece of noodle here you want to cut all the way down the length of it so that it opens up just like that now you're going to take this and you're going to pinch your finger with it. Now you're going to clamp it down onto the side of your bowl just like that. See like that? Now you can use a bit of hot glue like along right here to hold this kind of like firmly so that when you're messing with it it won't pop off. I've never really had that much of a problem with it but you can, you can hot glue it down if you want to. Now what I'm going to do is take my knife again and I'm just going to start cutting some slits every inch or so on this thing. So I'm going to cut it kind of downward like that because I want my brushes to aim downward and not, you know, like straight across. So I'm just going to cut downward like that, a little bit further back like that. Okay, now let's skip a little bit. Cut another one like this. I'm sorry for making the camera shake. And now we're going to cut another one. And it's, eh, let's cut another one just like that. Now you can fill your bowl up with water and dip your brushes in it, you know, shake off to like get off all the excess paint. And then while they're drying or while you're switching back and forth between colors, you just take your brushes and just stick them down in the little slots that you made. Whoops. I'm like throwing brushes everywhere at y'all. Just like this. And there you have it. Just something quick and easy to throw together to hold your brushes. You can use this, you know, like so that they can dry. Or like I said, I like I like it to hold mine when I'm switching back and forth between colors. You know, and it's a good way to use up any little scraps of pool noodle that you might have laying around. So, there you have it. If you would, please give me a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. I'll have the links to all those in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye-bye.